Oh my goodness. Um, in 2013, which at that time was the longest um, furlough, uh, I was calling my mortgage company, the utility company, and I was letting them know I'm furloughed and, you know, I don't know how long it's going to be and what can you do. And they all said the same thing. We can't help you till you're behind. And I'm like, oh, I don't do behind. <laughs> I work too hard to have good credit. But they couldn't help me. And I was so stressed. It was awful. And I mean, all you could do is sit at home. And when I discovered last year the food bank, I started working on Wednesday and Thursday nights and all day Saturday. It was great. Working here and, and laughing with people, it takes my mind off of something I have no control over. I only eat once a week, once a day. Because I don't know how long this is going to last. And I'm trying to make what I do have last. You don't know where the next meal is going to come from. There may be a point where I can't come because of gas. You just don't know. It's, everything's unknown. It's mentally stressful. It's physically stressful. And, you know, <laughs> you just drink more water so you fill yourself up. But you just don't know. And so I've had to make those adjustments. If you can't physically come down to help, no dollar amount is too small. No dollar amount is too large. Because even though I've been helping since last April, I never thought that it could be me. And it, it probably will be me if this continues. So you helping, helping me and helping people like me it's like helping yourself because you just don't ever know when it could be you. So please, please open up your heart. I mean, open up your heart, open up your wallet as soon as possible, like now. <laughs> Thank you.